Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, DIY Dad here. Uh, today we're out at the camper because we need to do a little bit of an update. The factory setup on this camper leaks like crazy. So today we're going to update the wet wall of the camper where all of the hoses connect to make it easier to connect them and to make them hopefully leak less uh, into the floor of the camper. Here we go. So this is the wet wall in the camper. That's probably not the appropriate name for it, but it's where all of the hoses connect and where your valves are for your tanks. And for reasons I can't understand, but probably have something to do with cost, all of these connections are plastic. So the threads are plastic. Uh, and yeah, the issue that you have with that is at a campsite, it's really hard to get this tight enough that it doesn't leak. And when you do, it still seeps water. And then it gets so tight with temperature shifts that when you try to take it off, it won't come off. So what we're going to do is switch this with an updated style that has a metal fitting on the inside to make it easier. We're also gonna add some 90 degree angled brackets and some quick connects. So this is gonna be our primary replacement. I'll put a link to this uh, down in the description. It's something I just got off Amazon. But you can see it's all metal construction. It still has plastic on the outside here, but all of the actual connections to the hose are gonna be metal on metal. It should be a whole lot easier to get tight. And then even just the way this is designed to be a lot easier to tighten and loosen than those big kind of rounded off ones that you get uh, by default. Plus just the weight of this thing, it feels uh, like it's a much higher quality than what I'm sure those are gonna feel like. Now to get into these, we have two primary methods. There's three screws on the front that you can see, kind of going around the side, just standard Phillips. And then if we need to, we can take the back wall off as well. This carpet wall, now we still have to pull some stuff out just has, looks like about six screws. So these little Phillips screws going down each side and then that panel will come off and that'll get us access to the connections on the back side. Now for this, I'm gonna be replacing all three of these just to make it a little bit easier for me in the future. I'm replacing this one, my city water inlet with a white one that you see here. I have two black ones that I'm gonna use for the winterize and the tank flush just to get that visual distinction that this is the one that we want for the city water connection in case I'm not the one hooking us up and someone in my family doesn't get confused. All right, to get these valves out, we are gonna to have to take that panel off. So it's just on this particular camper, four screws, two here and two on this side. And you can see the back side of these are pretty simple. So it's just a little screw off connection. So I'll pull that off and then pop the new fitting through, get it tightened back up and get it screwed in. It's gonna be a really quick swap. Uh, so I'll do that real quick and I'll check back in. So here's your side-by-side -side connection of the two different valves. You can see all plastic, very lightweight, very flimsy versus all metal construction. It should be much, much nicer for us. Other than that, they're exactly the same size. Yeah, the first one is installed. I used a little bit of Teflon tape on the threads on the back and then just a small uh, kind of adjustable pipe wrench just to get it nice and snug. So I do have some evidence that it was leaking from the back as well, and it was very, very loose, like finger loose on the back. So now we should be nice and snug. Uh, now we'll do the black ones for the tank flush and the winterizing port. And there you have it. Total update start to finish takes about five minutes and very basic tools. It's super easy to do, uh, and you get a much tighter, much nicer uh, fit and finish to it. It should be a whole lot easier to connect the hoses now. And I'm going to take that one step further as well. So to really complete this update, and I'll put a link to these as well, I'm going to add this 90 degree elbow into my city water connection and put this quick connect on the end and on my hose. That way I'll be able to just really quickly connect in, hose will go through that port and the angle will allow it to uh, bend down and exit without putting any strain on the hose or on the connections. All right, now that the 90 degree angled adapter is on and the quick connect is on, all you have to do is thread this onto the end of your freshwater hose, and then you just pull this little neck back and it will click on just like that. So I know that this connection's nice and tight. I know the connections in the back are nice and tight. I know because I've tested it that this one gives me nice tight watertight seal as well. So we should have an easy connection with no leaks and that'll angle everything directly to this little access cover which is where my freshwater hose comes in from outside when I'm hooked up at the campsite. All right, so there you have it. Very simple update. Took about five minutes, cost me, I think $30 and a much better connection, which should be a lot better for my family camping. 
So this being the end of a DIY dad video, I of course owe you a dad joke. And given the subject matter that we've been dealing with, what do you get when you cross a garden hose and a rabbit? Hairspray. All right, remember, with any DIY project, the most important step is just to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. No one's going to see the flaws unless you point them out to them. Have a great day. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one. Bye.